Welcome to the glorious British weather. Join me for this week's video as I embark on my most challenging camp yet in the middle of back-to-back -back storms. Yes, I've had a haircut. I no longer look like Jim Carrey from Dumb and Dumber. <laughs> we are going storm chasing today. Me and Steve have planned out a trip to Pembrokeshire. And when the weather started to hit this weekend, we thought we're not going to let that drown our spirits. We're still going to go. The M54 is closed because it's flooded. We've got loads of flood warnings in Wales. I've also seen a multitude of news stories about the winds battering the Pembrokeshire coast as well. But what can you expect to see in today's video? Well, today's all about getting down to Pembrokeshire. I think it's about a three hour drive down there. We're also going to be trying to avoid as many floods as possible. There's a few flood warnings around, especially in Wales. And tonight's park up is right outside a castle. Five. <laughs> Are you ready? Yeah. Are yeah. you steady? Yeah. <laughs> Have you got your boat license? <laughs> <laughs> Have you brought your swimming trunks? <laughs> you know, it's bad, isn't it? Yeah, it's Today. bad, mate. It's but bad. Anyway, yeah. I could prefer it like this now. So tell me what you saw on the M54 then as you came across the old A5. Well, it could only be described as a new Telford Lake. Okay. <laughs> right, we've got the most important supply, milk. We can have yeah. a tea. Do you want me to wait here? I'm going to do my intro. Are you going to do, <laughs> yeah, he's going to, he's going to do his intro. Anyway, enough of my waffle. Let's head into Wales. Let's go see if these vans can swim. You know, if someone was to say to me, Brendan, why'd you go out camping in this weather? I would say two things. One of which would be, well, it makes a good video for you sadistic guys that want to see me struggle. <laughs> Secondly, there's something that can't be beaten about being in a warm, cozy van in the back with the diesel heater on, you've got good quality food, you can hear the rain pitter patter on the roof. In many ways, that aspect to camping at this time of year is better than summer. It was at this point I began to rethink our decision. The flooding was getting worse and I was worried about whether tonight's park up would even be on dry land. Absolutely no let up whatsoever. Yeah, I'm all right, mate. How's your van coping? Is it starting to swim yet? <laughs> I wish I could hear what you were saying. I'm just wondering if I could still think just get some diesel drone footage. You want to get you want to get some drone footage, do you? <laughs> this is a challenge, isn't it? Mate, mate, this is a challenge, yeah. Welcome to Aberystwyth, baby. So, we made it. We made it. High five. High five. You've, 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 so, you've excelled yourself this time on that this noise? park up, mate. Oh, you're, you're uh, nice. Yeah. I have, mate, yeah. But we just, survived the you, drive, mate. Mate, that was, that was a challenge. <laughs> right, I'll let you do your bit. I'm going to quickly check the park in, make sure we're not going to get clamped, all right? All right I'll do the footwork, oh, okay? Yeah. You... All right, let's have a look. Excuse me, what did you tell me? Is it free parking here? It is. As far as I'm aware, oh. as long as you use the stores. I thank think. you very much, thank you. Right, let's have a look. Okay then, so private land, camera controlled, yep, maximum stay 90 minutes. Okay. Okay. Oh, free park in this place. So, uh, yeah, there's another motorhome here as well. Someone's got a Hymer, a posh one. Um, I'll put the what three words down here for you guys, if you fancy coming in. 90 minutes free. Doesn't have any restriction. Not saying that you have to be a customer of anywhere. So uh, yeah, let's go have a little wander of Aberystwyth. We'll see the pier, we'll see the sea, and then we'll see if we can stop somewhere for a little snack along our way. And then next stop will be Cardigan Bay. So this is the seaside town of Aberystwyth. This is the one place we've been to in Wales so far that hasn't got a clue what its speed limit is. Every single place has got a speed limit out there. It's been sprayed out. No one has a clue what speed limit is. 20 mile an hour, 40 mile an hour, 30 mile an hour, no. National speed, it, what was the speed limit, mate? It was 20. I 
I'll tell you what, I don't know if it's just you, but are we getting some really yeah. funny looks? Absolutely. <laughs> oh, isn't it beautiful here? Yeah. It's nice. Yeah. If only, I always think if, if only the weather could complement it, eh? Yeah. I always think when you walk it. <laughs> Just, we can't go anywhere, can we? <laughs> Look at that. That pigeon right there. <laughs> oh my God. And I think along the front here is all kind of bed and breakfasts. All the way down the front. You know, even though the weather doesn't really warrant being in a location like this, it's st oh no! <laughs> Unlucky, mate. <laughs> it's nice just to hear the waves crash behind me. <sighs> Still smells the same any time of year. Should we try and get a little memento? Should we try and find somewhere where we can get a little bit of something for the taste buds? Right, I've made a decision. <laughs> I'm on the hunt for a Welsh cake. Now, when yeah. I went to Tintern, I had some Welsh cake ice cream, but I've never had an actual Welsh cake. So, that's the plan, right? Yeah. That's going to be the slot one It is more like here. a biscuit, though. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, as long as I can very try a traditional Welsh cake, yeah, I'm happy an, with that. An Eccles cake. Yeah, I've heard of it. I don't think. Yeah, it's a bit like that. Is it a bit like that? Yeah. Is it? Yeah, but more biscuits. Or is it that? And they just biscuity. Welsh have poured yeah, Welsh cake. Okay. Bingo bongo. Sophie's does Welsh cakes. Steve's got the deal. What is it, mate? Oh, oh hello. Two for two pounds. Two for two pounds. Here we have found them. The Holy Grail. Well, the Holy Grail of Welsh cakes. They're that big. Yeah. Do you mind to sit down and have a double table? So. Okay. I don't know. Maybe they just seem to be bigger in Wales. My, my appetite know. is up for that. And we are in Mid Wales, aren't we? It is the class of Mid Wales. Leave a comment below. Yeah. <laughs> Leave a comment yeah. below. Let us know. Right, yeah. let's get a table. Yeah. Right, we're sat down. I've got a little impromptu question for you guys. Okay. So Steve's uh, got his money wallet. Who has a wallet these days, by the way? But he's got some change in his wallet. Yeah. And he's just said to me, what is this logo? I have no idea. Can anyone leave a comment below before he tells me within the next few seconds? Get typing quick. What does that logo mean? Yeah, that one there. Take a look at it. Did it, did it, Boom. What is it? It is Henry Hoover's. It's the face of the Henry Hoover. <laughs> yeah. So I'm assuming that that wasn't actually a wallet when you first brought it. Then was that like a? Yeah. So you were you were really into that. You were really into Henry Hoover's. No, I've, I've got a weird shot where I'm pairing with them. Oh, okay. And there we are, the elusive Welsh cake. They're warm. They've got butter with them. We got them, we got them here. Now I did say they were more busy, and didn't they? they smell. Yeah. Yeah. Well, scone. I remember. Scone. Scone. Yes. Is it yeah. scone or scone? Yeah. That's what I said. It's more like you're like a biscuit, it? isn't it? Scone or scone? Scone. You say scone. Yeah. I didn't know you were posh. Scone. It's scone. Yeah. scone. What's the quickest name? Scone. <laughs> <laughs> so, it's actually fresh. Yeah, I didn't expect that. Mm. A bit of butter. That'd be a nice little accompaniment to a coffee, wouldn't it? Yeah. What's the difference between a saltine and a raisin? What's the difference between a saltine and a raisin? Saltine is brown, a raisin is black. Maybe I'll ask the staff. Could you answer me a question? Yeah. What is the difference between a saltine and a raisin? God knows, should we scoot it? If you would, that'd be great. Yeah, I don't know. Customer service has no limits. It says a raisin is a dry white grape, and a sultana is a small raisin. They are seedless and sweet, mainly from Turkey. Well, there we are. Thanks yeah. for the answer. Oh, there we are. A little bit of a shelter. A little bit of a brief break from the rain, and now we're back into the cold and wet. Sophie's. Yeah, come here if you've got time, if you're in Aberystwyth. And just while we make our way back to the vans to head to Cardigan, I wanted to share some info with you about how I power my camping trips. The EcoFlow Delta 2. 
my first ever power bank. Yes, that's right. This is my first, the OG, my first ever power bank that actually, coincidentally, I found just behind a tree in the woods somewhere over there. <laughs> so come out walking in the woods, you never know what you'll find. But this is the EcoFlow Delta II. This is the first ever power bank that I had when I first started doing my car camping adventures. And this absolutely transformed my camping trips. I was able to install an 80 watt little tube heater underneath my car bed. For those long standing viewers who have been watching for a while, you'll know what I mean. And it basically meant that from then on, not only were my camping trips warm and toasty, but I wasn't having to worry about where I can find power. As you can see on the front here, we've got two USB-A fast charge. We've also got dual USB-C 100 watt outputs and a couple of USB-A ports there as well to charge a plethora of devices, whether it be cameras, phones, drones. I was even charging a USB fan in the summer, just to try and keep myself cool in the back here. And this did it with ease. But this isn't the piece de resistance. No, no, no. On the back, we have a 1800 watt inverter with four AC outlets, including a DC outlet for your 12 volt appliances right there. There's three ways to charge it, one of which is from your AC outlet at home, which can charge it up to 80% in under an hour, which let me tell you, when you're rushing to go out a camp and you've been a bit of a wally and you've forgotten to charge it, that is an absolute godsend. And you've also got a solar input right there as well via an XT60 input. Now I also use the 220 watt solar panel that EcoFlow have on their website and I was able to charge this up and unbelievably I was able to draw more power than the quoted 220 watts. I think I pulled 230 something watts. That's the first ever solar panel I've tried that provides more power than what it's quoted to do. The Delta II also comes with a 12 volt on the go cigarette lighter input that you can also plug into your XT60 just there to charge it while you're driving. Genuinely an all round brilliant camping companion and I wouldn't have been able to complete half the camps that I've done in the last 12 months whether it be in the van, the car, whatever, without one of these. And as of releasing this video, it is your lucky day because EcoFlow are currently holding their annual Christmas sale where you can get hundreds of pounds off various different EcoFlow products, including the Delta II and also including their solar panels. And you might even find a sneaky little additional discount code in the description below as well. Big thank you to EcoFlow for being longtime supporters of the channel and for sponsoring today's video. Now back to the adventure. Everything all right? Just getting rid of that noise. <laughs> what noise is that? <laughs> water damage! Really? I think the driver here took his toll on Steve's van. Hopefully we can get to Cardigan. That is the first time I've ever seen a sign warning about elderly people. You should be more worried about them in a car, let alone on the path. Not again. 20 mile an hour. What is going on? Odd. They've got 20 mile an hour on a flipping country road. Satnav says 40. Now that says 40. Wales, what is going on? Get your act together, this is crazy. After battling through the sporadic 20 mile hour speed limits, Steve's van wasn't looking too healthy. What seems to be the problem, sir? Uh, mate, I don't know. Well, you're just struggling to get is up the hill? Did that, yeah. Did it, did, what's the smoke? What's the snow? Go on then. It's that water that's come back. Right. Is there any smoke? No, not the moment. Go on, give it a give it a push. Yeah. That's not good. Right. That symptom is familiar. Right. Okie dokie. E jar valve is here. Yeah. Um you sure it's not the math sensor? Maybe disconnect that first right. and see how the van runs without it like connected. Do you know where it is? Do it again. After a bit more investigation and Google searching, we just about managed to get Steve's van back on the road. All right, we're on the road again. We've managed to get Steve's van working a little bit better this time. He thinks it's the the Boost Solenoid. Uh, I don't know if I showed you a brief look at it before, but we tried the EGR unplug. Uh, we haven't tried the MAF sensor unplug yet, but um, there's a bit of a humming and a buzzing noise coming from a solenoid, and he thinks it's to do with the water that we went through, potentially splashing up on it. I've cleared the codes on my little code reader, so fingers crossed we can make it to Cardigan and then make it to our park up tonight. Right, we think it's fixed. The problem is solved. Driving a lot better. Yeah, it is, it is. You see, they're not that complicated, these vans, when you no, actually no. 
when you're looking at the components they go together and sometimes you start to realize identity until you take it one apart anyway it should be all right they're good they're good bands aren't they yeah, they, are, bands. they are but you've got to have a little bit of patience with them yeah. yeah so this is cardigan, cardigan. this yeah. is the town it is a town isn't it, it town is village town, yeah. a town. it's a town the town of cardigan in wales it's definitely south wales now this is definitely South Wales. Yes, okay, right, all right, we're officially in South Wales. Yeah. Now here you'll see that it says 30 minutes, no returns. So that you can only have 30 minutes here and you can't return with another 30 minutes. But I've spoken to the local butcher who has told me that the parking warden lady goes home about three o'clock and it's now half past four. So I think we'll be all right. I'm gonna trust that local knowledge of that butcher and fingers crossed he's led me right and not astray. But we're gonna have a little walk around Cardigan see what there is to offer it looks uh, quite quaint and traditional really very much like shrewsbury but let's have a quick look at cardigan Chaps. Oh, you, you see someone you know watches me. Yeah. Oh, bloody hell. Oh, small world, eh? <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> You're welcome, oh, mate. You're welcome. You mate. I'll, I'll give the cheese a good review, all right? Thank you, mate. Oh, no worries, mate. <laughs> see you later. <laughs> small world, mate. Small world, small world. This is quite nice. This is nice. It's very Shrewsbury esque. It's actually uh, quite nice to have a little bit of a break, although there's a little patter of rain on the head. Yeah. It's a break to what it was, isn't it? Here you are, give, you, give you, your horn a beat, mate. Join in. <laughs> okay, so tonight's park up is only three and a half mile, apparently cardigan so uh, shouldn't be too long before we get there I have no idea what to expect when I get there especially for the rainfall that we've had today it could well be flooded who knows there could be signs there saying no overnight parking I genuinely have no idea all I'm going off is a park for night listing and uh, with my previous experience they're not always 100% accurate so we'll leave cardigan as we see the water and the river around us and we'll make our way to Castle something. Castle something. <laughs> I think I saw a sign. A castle around the corner. Yeah. Play a little trick on Steve. <laughs> well, this is it. Up, this is it, yeah. Yeah, for a park up, it's not bad if I'm honest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, no, this is it. On a, no, genuinely, seriously, on park for night, it's literally next to that garage is apparently where we're parking. <laughs> Where's this castle? <laughs> right, follow me. Let's find it. Come on. Oh my goodness. Oh. Do not come down here if you've got a big van. Look at all the hard work I do for you guys, eh? I come here first and wreck my van before you have to. <laughs> oh yeah, we hit the jackpot. <laughs> You've lived in that side out there, mate, haven't you? <laughs> Come on, let's go and show them. This looks absolutely incredible. Yeah. Nice. We've got the two side doors next to each other as well, mate. Yeah. Oh, hang on, hang on. He looks a bit official with the jacket on, doesn't he? Yeah, that's it, mate. It's a, it's a... Mm. Oh, mate, look at it. Wow. We've got a long way to come up yet, haven't it, before... <laughs> yeah, That is yeah, nice. Yeah. That is serene, isn't it? Isn't that just perfect? Yeah. Now this Make is what I wanted. Sold yourself. Though. Yeah, this is what I wanted. Yeah. Yeah. This is what I saw, and I thought, yeah, that'll be a nice little stopover, right in Kilgarren. No idea where the castle is, but it's somewhere near. Up to me would be in a graveyard, wouldn't it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Right, boy. How are you, buddy? Yeah, good. See you in the lake, I don't know yet. Yeah. No idea. You you is it really quiet? Is it? Oh, great! Fantastic. Leave the vans open all night. Right. We've, we've just spoken to a local chap. Really nice guy, right? Yeah. 
basically the guy that was in the background of the last shot with the official mm. kind of um, jacket on. Yeah, railway, we thought he, work, railway worker, straight grain worker. We, we thought he might be someone official that could tell us to, you know, skip off. Yeah. But no, he was very nice, very kind, said, stay here all night. He'll no, be he absolutely... didn't say that. He did. He said, stay there with your f***ing light, mate. You won't get any f***ing. <laughs> <laughs> well okay yeah okay but no to put it in the pc terms all right yeah he swore he, up, he, he said you can stay here all night no one's gonna bother you nice and quiet really nice guy and he also said there's a pub at the top of the road that serves backdoor pizzas yeah and swinging and did he say that yeah I must, I must have missed that yeah swinging is yeah. that your thing no 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 i haven't got any pineapples on me at the moment i ain't flamingos <laughs> What the guy said was like a bit of a riddle. So he was like, you find the Mason's pub, right? Yeah. Back of the, back, you know, back of the Mason's pub. It looks like a some pizza. house. It looks like a house, but it's not a house. Yeah. It's a very small pub. Drive past it, miss it. Yeah. So this is a, this is a bit of a mission, right? To try and find a pizza yeah. in Kilgarran village in this park up. It's doable. It's, it's doable. It, so, it sounds brilliant. And they only serve them on Friday and Saturday. Nice. What day is it today, my friend? It is fr 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 Friday. So that's pizza in belly Friday. Oh, oh, yeah. oh, that means we have a clean van to sleep in tonight. I can just get the bed sorted out. I haven't got to worry too much about washing up, putting things okay. away, getting a bin, getting all the wiping up done or whatever. I can just get a pizza, get the pizza box, okay. chuck the pizza box in the river. <laughs> <laughs> See how far it goes. <laughs> Just while Steve uh, goes for number two, I think that might be toilets as well. Let's have a look. Now this place, I will put the what three words because this is definitely somewhere I would recommend. Picnic benches for the morning. No sign saying no overnight parking, although there is a sign there, which I will check out in a minute. What does it say actually? Let's have a look. Parking of caravans on this common is prohibited by order of the Kamais Rural District Council. Well, that's all right, because we haven't got caravans. Oh, yeah. I think I need a whittle right now, so... Uh, right, I'll empty the bladder, and then uh, we'll go get some pizza. Yeah, this pizza better be worth it. Oh. How are you doing UK? Yeah, good. I need to need some advice off you. Yeah. So, there's a local pub around here called the Masons, I believe. Oh, the Masons? Okay. <laughs> I told you he was lying to us. <laughs> there's, oh, it's the ramp. Yeah. The okay. Ramp yeah. The ramp in. And it's got a different name for the locals. Yeah. Apparently there's apparently a pizza place or something you can get pizzas or something. Yeah. Is that right? Yeah. Pizza the, gorge. Gorge. Oh, the Gorge. The Gorge. You can pass yeah. Dog Food Dave when yeah. you left. Dog Food Dave. You've passed Ben Brown and left. Oh, you know you're in a village <laughs> and, and you're in stuff like right, that. <laughs> on the right, there's a place called Micro Farm. And okay. uh, that's where they um, milk... <laughs> No joke, they milk snakes. Milk and snakes. Did you see milk, 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 milk and snakes, snakes for venom? Right. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. it's like an antidote, well, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, it's an antidote. <laughs> In case you get bitten by a snake. Yeah. <laughs> you think snakes produce milk? <laughs> So past the snake milk in place, <laughs> and then you've got Dave's dog food. Is it Dave's dog food? Dog food Dave. Yeah, dog food Dave. That, yeah. Yeah. And then yeah. it's the what's the place called again? It's called the Ramp Inn. The Ramp Inn. Yeah. Thank you ever so much, ladies. Appreciate it. We're going to try the pizzas on your recommendation. Thank you. Snake milk in. So we need to look out for dog food Dave. The snake milk in place. Yeah. Then go past. Oh, what the hell is that place called again? Um. This, oh, something like the. The, the just, python. Let's, 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 let's just follow the smell. <laughs> dog food Dave, look. Is that dog food Dave? Yeah. Ah, right, okay. So dog food Dave. Okay. Yeah. So that's dog food Dave. Right, that's the snake milk in micro farm. Ah, here we go. What's it? Ah, Mason's arm. This is it. Right, okay, right. Oh. Local Welsh pub. Wow, that's just an excellent place. Oh, we're basking where the... Uh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, I tell you what, you look up the definition of local in the dictionary, mate, that is it's, it. It's surprising, isn't it? Nice though, nice though. We've got a few dodgy looks, but they seem friendly enough. Yeah. Oh, oh, 
Oh, oh this is nice. This oh, is nice. See what we got going on here. Oh. Hello, how are you doing, UK? How are you doing? Yeah, Hello. you are the saviors of our evening. We've been trying we to find food tonight. We have travelled for many, yeah. many miles. We are weary travellers. Oh, this will do, mate. Looks like an aquarium. <laughs> <laughs> All righty, Steve's got his burger. Let's have a look, mate. Oh my That's God! Right. That look is pretty at good, that. Burger, isn't it? Yes, oh yes, Christ. Mate. And a fair portion yeah. of chips yeah. as well. Now here is the PS de Resistance. Let's have a look at this bad boy. Oh my goodness! I'm either going to be very full or very ill tonight after eating this. Brendan versus food. Hmm. Barbecue chicken, bacon, pepperoni, red onion. This sauce is actually very nice. Mm. This mm. red sauce. Again, no, she's, she's had to keep going through November and December. That was the perfect addition to our first night in Pembrokeshire. Yeah. A couple of chips left there to finish. Such a short What's this called again? <laughs> I'll put the name down here anyway. I'm too delirious. The Gorge. The Gorge. I'll put the what three words actually down here. Friday and Saturday nights, you can get yourselves some of this, yeah. well, I suppose very rare village food, Steve, would you say? Mm -hmm. The only place in the village that will do food like this, I guess, unless you want to go to the local shop and get a sandwich, but uh, yeah. Yeah. no, this is the place to come. Right, we're going to uh, get the last of this down our bellies, then we'll start heading back to the vans. <coughs> You look like you're on stage. Oh yeah. Yeah. You got the light above you. Okay. You got the spotlight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Dancing queen. Oh no. Feel the beat of the tambourine. Oh look at that. We've got a bit of the old flick of the lights. Welcome to the uh, the gorge in Kilgarren with a C. Um, and uh, the next, uh, the, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, and we're going to the next table there, going to do a little karaoke duet together. Um, <laughs> I think it might be, maybe a bit of catatonia. <laughs> oh. And we're back. Wasn't able to uh, film too much because one of my GoPro batteries sadly gave up the ghost, so uh, apologies about the footage on the phone. But the pizza was to die for. Steve's burger. Yeah, you rated the burger, didn't you? I already died. <laughs> yes, yeah, Steve's dead. <laughs> but no, really nice, uh, really nice people here in Kilgarren. Went to the local shop as well. Asked for directions to the place. Just, I've never been to a place that has been this friendly before. The guy in the high vis saying, yeah, stay here all night, guys, no worries, no one's gonna bother you. Go up to the local place, that's got the best food, etc." Genuinely, the friendliest place I've camped yet. Steve's here, desperately trying to get a signal on his TV. Because I wonder what's Big Brother, you say. <laughs> he says it's Big Brother, but I've just said to him he's going to have to use his imagination tonight. <laughs> it's actually Big Lover. Big Lover, yeah, Big Lover. It can't be that hard. Well, it won't, it won't, it certainly won't. <laughs> Not the Indian day, right? Certainly won't be later on, mate, if you haven't got any signal. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. Oh, apologies. I do apologize for anyone watching who thinks it's a bit crass, but uh go have a laugh, gonna have a bit of a joke from time to time. Oh, let's get these hot chocolates on the go. Did you hear that? What? <laughs> what? Do you want me to get my super duper massive torch out? Yeah. Bigger than that. Genuinely, I just heard what? something massive fall in that river. No word of a lie. A house? Mate, that was, that was like a, honestly, I think a tree just collapsed into the river. Have a look over there. Trees quite literally falling in, look. Hang on, well, the, the GoPro won't be able to see that. Can you see it? Just about, yeah. See it fell in. Jeez, that was one hell of a noise. All right then, mate. Good night, mate. I'll see you in the morning. Don't let the bed bugs bite. Enjoy watching Big Lover. <laughs> you call me Mr. Lover, man. You call me Mr. Lover, man. Bye. <laughs> Good night. <laughs> oh, what a good day. Do you know what? I'm going to set out this morning and I thought about the weather that we were facing swimming through those roads, trying to surf on the side of the street. 
I thought, have I made a bad decision here coming out and camping in this weather? But the rain's let up a bit now. Me and Steve have been talking and chatting the night away. We've drank our hot chocolates. I've got a pizza from my belly. We've got a plan for tomorrow to go and see Fishguard and to go and see a few other places in Pembrokeshire that are on the top list of sites to see. St. David's and White Sands Beach. But thank you guys for joining me for today's video. Join me next week as we go and explore further into Pembrokeshire and we'll also be cooking a beautiful meal up tomorrow. I don't think we're gonna be disturbed tonight. We've got the toilet light on in the distance over there that you probably can't see. No one else is in this car park but for us. We've got the slow hum of the river behind us. I've put the van in gear to make sure I don't float down it in the morning. <laughs> but yeah, thank you again for joining me and I'll see you next week.